And in part B, we're asked to show that the given equation holds. Um, so in the first instance, we need to separate out our variables from the uh, differential equation in A. Um, so dividing through by P cubed, we're going to get um, the integral of 1 over P cubed dP is equal to uh, multiplying the power of dt minus the integral of k dt. Uh, integrating 1 over p cubed, we know that that's p to the power of minus 3, uh, which will go to minus a half p to the minus 2. So in other words, it will become uh, minus 1 over 2p squared is equal to uh, minus kt, uh, integral of k, which is a constant, is just going to be uh, kt plus some constant c. We're given that um, when t equals 0, though, um, p is equal to 20, the price of the component. So substituting in, we're going to get uh, minus 1 over 2 lots of 20 squared is equal to um, c. So we can see straight away that we're going to get minus 1 over 2 times 400, 800 is equal to c. We can now substitute this back into our equation, giving us uh, minus 1 over 2p squared is equal to uh, minus kt minus 1 over 800. Um, in the first instance, we can divide, uh, multiply through by 2, and that will give us minus 1 over p squared is equal to minus 2kt minus 1 over 400. Um, as you can see, that matches um, the equation that we're asked to find here. If I just rearrange it slightly, we're going to get um, 1 over p squared multiplying through by minus 1 is equal to 2kt plus 1 over 400, which means that our value of a is going to equal 2k.